There, let's go. The last match of the Ames begins. It's gonna be amazing because in full focus on Ganda, full. Sons of Condor in Rohan, my brothers. Today we are playing a 1v1 matchup on a beautiful but also classical map for Survizen in a random mirror against Eri. And this time, the faction we will get to play with is going to be Rohan, the Riddermark faction. I think it's it's okay because I didn't get to play Rohan for a long time. I'm pretty unlucky with the random picks and I will always get to play Isengard or Gondor. So Rohan is going to be a nice refreshment. We're going to open up with double farm and also recruit Mary and pick up the draft, give those peasants some weapons, wall check. It's a good faction. Okay, I mean, not my favorite, but maybe we can make it work. Okay, so when you play Rohan, uh, you know, pretty much straightforward. It's the strongest faction in the game, in the early game. You can dominate every single faction with the peasant spam because that's the only faction that can use the resource buildings as production buildings, which is kind of nutty. But we won't be spamming too many peasants. What I'm going to try to do is I'm gonna, I want to try to keep my opponent busy with my two starting peasants and then I want to creep with the extra peasants I will be recruiting in the help of the Hobbit Meriorok Brandybuck. That's going to be my plan, and hopefully it's going to work out. But first of all, we need to figure out if it's against Gondor or against Rohan. Okay, we need to come to the bottom side. It's against Gondor, actually. Okay, so that's good, because Rohan can definitely dominate Gondor in the early game. Because Gondor doesn't normally start with a barracks, which means he has only two starting soldiers, while we can have like 10 battalions on the field at the beginning. But you need to keep in mind that the more peasants you will spam, the more delete your stable and the more delete your Rohirrim are going to be. So you need to kind of find the sweet point, a uh, sweet spot in spamming enough, but not too much, you know? And that requires a lot of practicing. Again, not my most favorite matchup in the game, but it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be kind of boring to run around the map and fight for the farms all the time. But this also requires a lot of micro and understanding. So again, the plan is to not fight against the soldiers because we cannot fight against them. We need to try to destroy the farm or we just need to try to keep him busy. Look, I think he's expecting another peasant rush coming up very soon from the top side. But that won't happen. So you see, when you do unexpected stuff, it might actually work out. So with a lot of peasants, we can creep the full bottom area with those four peasants and go for a lead push from the top side. And now we're gonna save up for the stable. Remember, Rohan is definitely way stronger than Gondor in the beginning of the game because your peasants are cheap, your stable is cheaper, your Rohirrim are cheaper, and most of your heroes are cheaper. So the only counter Gondor actually has against Rohan is Gandalf. And we hopefully will be able to win this game before Gandalf can join the battlefield. Okay, I was kind of lazy. I couldn't, you know, <laughs> I couldn't put my hobbit next to my peasant so he could share experience, but it's okay. Creeping, 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 boys. In this map, I mean, that's like the go-to map, right? In this map, we have in total six work layers. And your goal is, whatever faction you are playing, whatever matchup you are playing, doesn't really matter. You want to get at bare minimum four. So you want to have at least one more than your opponent. That's what we are trying to do here. Because power points are extremely important in this game. Okay. I mean, here's Gondor Knights on the field. Uh, that means we need to be careful. We don't want to feed power points with the peasants. Our peasants won't be able to achieve too much. And now, uh, we can try to go for the lead game situation too. You know, we can go for like Eoma Theorin kind of thing. But normally what I like to do against Gondor is I want to go for the Entrash. Because in the lead, lead, lead game, uh, you know, when you play Rohan against Gondor, it's going to be kind of tough because he might recruit tons of Trebuchet, Itawa guards, and they are very annoying to deal with for the Rohan faction. But we don't even need to face against that. We can just shut Gondor down completely. Again, map control is always the key to victory, making sure that we get more money and our opponent is getting almost no money. It's important because, again, uh, there is a downside of the Rohan faction because Rohan is the only faction in the game with only 7 building spots in the castle, while Isengard Mordor have 8 and Gondor has even 9. So, when we have like a 50-50 situation in the, in the map control, Gondor will have more money than us. Look at this hobbit, man. He's so annoying. Stop it. Very green. Took. We need to creep. Oh, we might need to give up that one. I have heal for the worst case scenario. I might need to heal this. Please give me the last hit. Yeah, we got the last hit. It's good. I don't care about the money too, too much, to be honest. I still got all the money. 
that's all. Oh, but he was able to get this one. He was also able to creep actually a lot. I think he was able to creep more than me. Now, actually, three, three for three. He got the money from this, but it's okay. And look our money though. We have 2,500 in the bank. Again, we are trying to get to 5,000, but I think um, we need to kind of make sure to get something for like the worst case scenario. Eoma is going to be a nice hero to counter enemy Gondor Knights. I mean, Eoma is able in the patch 2.2 to one shot every single Gondor Knight unit with one, one single spear throw. And we can do that over and over again to get to level 4, which again is a massive power spike. So, when you want to win against Gondor in the league game, you have to have Eoma level 4. That's the minimum requirement. Because without Eoma leadership, your damage output is not going to be that great. And you will get... Uh, you don't have the damage burst damage to mess up with Gandalf, you know what I mean? Because then Gandalf can ignore your damage output, can go for a Wizard Plus and do that over and over again. So, the only way you can scare the Gandalf away is with Eoma leadership. That's very important. Okay, so now the point is to get to 5,000. Maybe we can even go for Theorin, but I think we shouldn't be wasting too much more time. Spear throw, yeah boy. You see, uh, it's a short cooldown ability, so we can spam it. And in long terms, we will definitely get our Eoma very, very quickly to level 4. Again, very huge power spike. And also level 2 is a massive power spike for Eoma, because he will make bang for us. You know, the auto leadership is very, very strong. I mean, that's free experience. Let's trample them. Nice. Ooh. That's what I like to see. I mean, uh, sorry. Uh, the outlaw leadership is actually with level 3 in the patch 2.2 to be nerfed. It. I mean, the outlaw is now more beneficial. It gives you more money on the kills. But it's harder to get to level 3 now. I mean, not really, because we are about to hit level 3. Killing those infantry units is very, very good, you know. But we, are, we need to make sure to not lose any of the Rohirrim. We have almost 5,000. I'm going to build um, the... See it. The Ent mood. There. Let's go. The last march of the Ents begins. Again, Elma can keep chasing them down all the time. The Gondonites, they don't deal too much damage to my Elma. Boom, level 3. Now we have auto leadership. Money, money, money. I mean, we are losing map control though, but it's ex expected because we don't go for upgrades. Oh, please attack it. Please attack it. Please. Dude, if you would make the mistake and touch my Ent mood, my Ents would spawn immediately. Immediately. Okay, I mean, Elma is very close to, the level, to be level 4. The one thing you need to, you know, kind of pay attention to when you play Rohan against Gondor is to not tunnel vision focus on your push with the ends. You still need to keep an eye on the map control. You still need to fight for the map control effectively. And in a dream world, your end should be creating enough pressure for you to get the full map control. It means even if your end rush is gonna fail, which hopefully won't be the case, you will still have the momentum and the money to make a full army. And the goal is to break it bare minimum two parts of the wall. That's very important because one part, one part of the wall can be easily repaired. So two parts of the wall is more important stuff. We can also demolish this to get a bit more money back. That's good. Now we can find a transition into the armory. Throw rocks. Okay, so the minimap is looking good. Jordan is also on the field. And Elma is all about to hit level 4, boys. That's going to be double leadership for the cavalry, and that's why the Rohan faction is the Redemark faction. It's the Cav faction. It's the mobility faction. You want to fight? You want to mess up with me? I think this Gondor is actually rushing Gandalf. Because he doesn't have the bleeds yet. I mean, when, he, when you don't have upgrades, then you are eventually rushing Gandalf. And maybe I should have not gone for Elma. <laughs> because I could have gotten the ends on the field already a long time ago. Boom. Very close to be level 4. Very, very close to be level 4. If so much money, I could have gone for uh, for Legolas too, but nah, let's not do it. I need to destroy this city, boys. But, you know, I don't want to go ham too much because there is a well. I want to kill the well before I go in. Two shots should be enough, yeah. But we don't have that much time anymore with the ants. That's the problem. Maybe I should try to destroy one, you know. I'm, I'm, to be honest, my ants my were kind of horrible. They could have been doing so much better job for me. Okay, but the good thing is Elma is level 4. I won't even be able... I won't even be able to break the second part of the wall, by the way, guys. That's so bad! I mean, he can legit pay 1,500 and he has the wall repaired. That was the worst thing ever. 
Here's so many Gondonites. What the heck is that? He has like five battalions of Gondonites. I want to destroy this Citadel. I don't know, man, if Gandalf is going to come anytime soon. I'm expecting Gandalf, though, because he has no upgrades on his unit. So he has to get Gandalf on the field, I think. Hmm. I want to put Theoden next to the, next to Emma, but he's throwing spears, so Theoden can share experience. It's also very important. The minimap is looking good, but oh, there is Gandalf. Oof, run. Okay, please don't lose battalion. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Okay, I mean, he damaged us big time. My PP was able to get cloaked. That's good. Let's disengage. Let's also buy Banner, because again, every single level matters, but guys. Um, you know, <laughs> this is gonna be kind of rough now because I don't. I'm not prepared to fight against um, to fight against Gandalf. I'm not. And even if I would go for heroes like Legolas, for example, it wouldn't do much because Legolas would be only level one, and Gandalf won't be hurt by Legolas level one. You need at least to be level three, level four before you can start dealing, you know, great amount of damage to Lego uh, to Gandalf. And Elmo's spear doesn't hurt him that much either. So what we need are Rohirrim archers. Luckily we have Eoma leadership, so Eoma leadership, Terran leadership is more than 100% more damage output. And with 3 for Rohirrim archer with fire arrows, we should be maybe able to kill him. But again, he has eventually the heal. And I'm not paying attention to my units. I have only 2 normal Rohirrim. I will definitely need more than that. But I'm not that rich, man. Look, I'm kinda poor. I'm gonna... I'm, <laughs> I'm broke, man. I'm broke. Okay. I'm gonna go for the archery range. We need to recruit three Yeoman archers to get it to level two. Uh, what I need is now map control in time. I think he won't be able to re to siege me anytime soon. When you are playing Gondor against Rohan, you, when you are playing Gondor, then you need to make sure to not only blind mindlessly recruit Trebuchet. We also need to protect them with your tower guards. You know, I should be able to win this fight. He has no shields, so if he's not paying attention, he will be losing the Gondor knights. I was able to kill a full battalion, that's good. You see, that's the problem, because he's making way too many Gondor Knights. Like, I could also make 5 Rohirrim, but it's gonna be quite difficult to keep track on every single one of them simultaneously, unless you're like a god gamer. I mean, I can't do it. Like, basically, I cannot have 5 Rohirrim separated from each other in the entire map and then make sure to micro every single one of them perfectly, to not lose them at all. I can't do that. So make as many units as you know you can micro. <laughs> that's, that's what I can recommend you. Because, that, that, you know, it's not that easy to say, okay, I will just make more units. But then you can't pay attention to them anymore. You will end up feeding power points to your opponent. And we all know how it's going to end. How it's going to end, you know? I mean, look, you see? You see with the Rohirrim, they are so good. And he's going to lose the second. Does he have heal? Yeah, he has heal. Ah, okay. But it's okay, you know, he has... Again, it's very important cooldown. We know he has 3 minutes cooldown, so we need to keep track on that one. We need to say, okay, 3 minutes, maybe we can try to kill or fight against Gandalf. Because heal is very important when you play against Gondor and he has Gandalf on the field. Knowing that heal is on cooldown can give you a huge advantage. We draw the sword, so he's be they are becoming immune to trample. And they are dealing also slight revenge damage when they get trampled. We need to avoid Gandalf, but that's what you can do. I mean, most people, when I see them playing, they are kind of always magnetized and kind of very confused about Gandalf. They have always the desire to fight against Gandalf, but you don't have to do that. Gandalf can't be everywhere, you know? We cannot fight against him until we are ready. Okay? Beautiful. So now we can sell those units because we don't need them. We need 1200 and then we are good to go. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I need to come back with my units because he might like. Oh, that was lucky from him that he was able to. I have no heal, but he has no Easter Light either. We can dodge. You can see, all we gotta do is throw a spear with Elma and place Theory next to Elma as he's throwing the spear, and then you can passively. Share experience and get to level 4. Again, level 4 unlocks the glorious charge for a death and glory moment. And this will make the Rohirrim and Rohirrim archers almost invincible. So not even Gandalf can kill them at this point. He can knock them down on the ground, but he cannot kill them. They're gonna be way too tanky. 
And the map control is still not looking too bad, but it could look definitely better. But again, we are only fighting with two Rohirrim against like four Gondanites, you know? It's kind of obvious that he will have the map control advantage. I'm gonna go for the Elven Wood. Just, I'm not gonna use it myself. Run, run, run. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you better cancel that, my friend. Alright, so now it's about to get a lot of Rohirrim archers. That's very important. Again, Rohirrim archers with this batch leadership, they counter literally everything. They can counter heroes, they can counter also the Gondor Knights. Remember, Rohan has no Spearman units. So Rohan is the faction which is designed to be mobile. You can still go for combos and also elves kind of countering the um, countering the Gondor Knights, but you can just not keep up with the speed. You can see in this, in this matchup, good against good, uh, the player who has speed advantage will have always map control. Again, we can always avoid Gandalf. We don't have to fight against him. And when you keep, atten keep paying attention, there is no wall in which Gandalf is going to ever get level 10, you know? Okay. I mean, uh, yeah, when he chases me like this, I'm fine because I can just disengage and keep doing what I'm doing, you know what I mean? Just to get, you know, get more power points from destroying farms and get more time. Because he also needs a lot of stuff, right? He needs, again, tower guards, and he also needs trebuchet before he can go for the siege. And we don't need any of that. We need to dodge this. Nice. I mean, he couldn't kill too much because we have too much leadership. Let's kill the one we can kill first. Faramir. King cover his land, no problem. Again, make sure to not lose a full battalion. That's very important. Oh, Theodine, don't die. Okay, he healed. Okay, let's bail. Let's bail. I mean, it's okay for us because we killed uh, his Faramir. Killing heroes is very rewarding because you get a lot of power points from them. And again, whenever you kill stuff, when Elma is nearby and he's high level than level 3, we also get money for the kill. So it's like we get experience, we get power points, we also get money for it. It's a win 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 situation. I think it's a mistake from him to buy the outpost. Because the problem is when you buy the outpost, boys, is you give me a target which. I can always attack whenever I want to. And it will kind of force you to stay on the spot when you want to avoid that. And it will kind of force you to camp it out a little bit, you know what I mean? And I can just go there and collect even more power points. Because he has nothing to protect the outpost against me. Thurin? Go, 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 Thurin! Very close to be level 4, boys. Very, very close to be level 4. You see? Our Rohir matches are also getting stronger and stronger. Each level matters so much on them! Don't blast, don't blast, don't blast, don't blast! Nice, you see, the micro is very important, you want to avoid this blast. And when you can do that, you can turn and fire at him a little bit, so he will have to disengage then. You want to play around the cooldowns, so we know when Gandalf has Vizaplas and he's coming to us, we can try to disengage, try to step aside, and when Vizaplas has been missed or has been on cooldown or is on cooldown, we can always turn around and fight back. Okay, so... Um, at this point, we are in a good spot, but I think we still need Theodin level 4, and we also need money to build the end mood one more time to this, for the siege. I don't want to waste my heal on this Rohirrim. Oh, look, he was trying to visit plus, but again, your micro is very important. You always gotta keep, it, keep paying attention to everything. And another mistake from my opponent, he should never build the barracks at the outpost. Now, I've seen the barracks, and I will. there is no world I, in which I will give him the time and, you know, the freedom to get the barracks slowly to level 2 before you can recruit tower guards. So, the major buildings, your stable, your Uruk pit, and your barracks, whatever, you know, you want to build that things in your castle, because in your castle, they have way better protection. Um, I mean, you can still build the Urukpit at the outpost, but that's gonna be your secondary Urukpit, not your primary Urukpit. Your primary production building, stable Urukpit and stuff like this, has to be in the main castle. Troll Cage, for example, is one of those buildings which needs some time to get to level 2, you know what I mean? Because in Troll Cage, what is your goal? You wanna get it to level 2 to recruit Drummer Trolls. In the same also with the barracks. You see, you will not be able to recruit anything. <laughs> and he will just feed me power points now with this. Hold on. Please be level 4. Please be level 4. So close. We gotta avoid. We, we can also try to kill Faramir once again. I don't want to overcommit though. Because we are kind of clumped in a spot which is very, very scary against Gandalf. Very close to be level 4. Oh look, he wanna combo me. I have heal though. I mean, he wanna kill my 
Yeah, yeah, you see, you want to kill my Theorin, but I won't let it happen. So in this, in the meantime, we are chunking him. He has, he has to heal. Uh, you see, he has to use heal. That's good. So now we both used heal, and we are oh, nice. So we are level four. Farami is there. We need to use that so before Farami kills my Theorin. And now my Theorin is almost gonna be inv invincible. In Farami, the captain of Condor doesn't get to, you know, show his quality. He's gonna die for the second time. Can I face to disengage? Oh, that's so close, man. I almost was able to kill him. But it's okay, you know. Now he can't approach anymore. Again, map control in the meantime. That's very important. Whatever you do... <laughs> whatever you do, don't be tunnel vision focused on that one thing. If you want to win the game, you want to always have map control. <laughs> I know I might be annoying with this because I keep repeating myself. But just, you know, just in case you want to join the multiplayer scene and you want to play. And trust me, when you... Keep an eye, keep keep an ear, open ear for my advices. I've been playing this game for many, many years, boys. I know what I'm talking about. Trust me. If you listen to your friend Chenki, you will become, maybe not professional player, but you will become definitely a good player. Trust me on that one. Okay, so our Rohirrim matches, we got to the point in which they can hit like a truck, basically. And again, every single level matters. And when they, when he keeps making the mistake and he keeps me feeding with Faramia and also his Gondonites, my Rohirrim archers are not going to be any weaker. They will become always stronger and stronger and stronger. We, you know, until we reach the point in which they can even one-shot Gandalf. Okay, we have 3.5k. I, I think I'm going to go out for Aragorn. Yeah, we need Aragorn in this game. Um, for even more leadership. So, Aragorn is a very mobile hero. We can keep him also with the Rohirrim archers. So, he will give 50% more damage. I don't want... I won't allow him to go to the outpost. Again... Keep focusing on map control. He's also doing a good job, by the way, map control wise, I need to say. And when you go for Aragorn, it's the same situation like going for Gandalf in the Gone Affection. You need Anduril's sword. You need Gandalf to buy power point. Anduril is such a huge power spec for Aragorn. Doesn't only make him more tanky, more damage output, but also makes him faster. So all three buffs from two power points investment is pretty worth it. Trust me on that one. Like, Gan Gandalf can't fight against Aragorn. Aragorn is a very tanky hero. With Blademaster and Anduril combination, he is the only hero who can tank a breath fire from Balrog. By the way, he was repairing the wall, which means we can't just go ham. <laughs> we need to definitely build the Entmut once again. Again, look look the way we are playing this game, boys. We have like two separated Rohirrim. We always keep using them for the map control, but then we have a giant army with our two heroes. Now with Aragorn even three heroes, we want to keep them together. With the separated Rohirrim, we want to keep focusing on map control. With my army, I want to force a fight against his army. And keep scouting. You see, you see, he has another barracks. And that's going to be the same situation. There is no wall in which this barracks can hit level 2. He has to build the barracks in the main castle. Want to fight this? That's what I thought. I mean, if he wants to turn and fight, I can do this. And full focus on Gandalf. Full. If he's gonna go for land, I have land to cover. I need to cover this now. You see, he doesn't even hurt me anymore. He has to heal. I want to kill Faramir. Where is Faramir? Let's kill Faramir now. Faramir will be dying for the third time. You see, <laughs> we got also money for killing him. It's a horrible fight for him to take. He cannot fight against my Rohirrim. My Rohirrim with Aragorn, Theorin, Elma leadership. You cannot fight against that. There is no world you can do that. But that's what I was trying to say. You see, Rohirrim archers are also countering heroes. So that Faramir, a mounted hero who is normally very tanky against fire arrows, is going to be taken on in a few seconds. Okay. Let's go for even more Rohirrim. You look at the minimap, that's the important part. Aragorn, you join them. With the U button on your keyboard, you can make a hero, a unit or whatever, follow another, another unit of yours or from your teammate. I keep using this most of the time when it comes to, uh, you know, play with Mordor, for example, and I want my drummer troll to follow a certain unit, either from myself or from my ally. Like, you wanna fight? You wanna fight, my friends? That's what I thought. Run. Run, you fool. Or maybe, maybe you can fight this. I don't know, my, my, my heroes are not nearby, but I have statue leadership, so... Okay. Do not lose Rohirrim for no reason. I think we have not lost a single normal Rohirrim. We have only lost one Rohirrim Archer Battalion, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe you guys saw something but I've not seen. But I'm pretty certain that I didn't lose much in this game. 
Okay. Keep dodging. Keep moving. You see? You won't give him the chance. I mean, he blasts a couple of them, but it's not going to be the end of the world. The last thing you want is Gandalf riding into your army and blasting every single one of them. Okay, now we have enough money also for uh, Intmood. Let's keep more, uh, making more Rohirrim archers. The more, the better. We have still available command points. And then we can go ham, boys. I'm going to demolish this and go ham. Okay. The only thing is, I don't know how many co how many power points he has. I don't know if he's close to eagles or not, because eagles, even though they are weak against fire, they can you know they can be eventually used to kill my heroes. Like when you kill Elma, for example, when you summon eagles and you kill Elma right off the bat, it's gonna be amazing because then you make my Rohirrim and Rohirrim artists deal seventy to eighty percent less damage, which is very significant. And if you summon the eagles, you want to try to kill Eoma. You can't, you shouldn't try to waste time to kill Theorin because when Theorin has glorious charge, he will be quite tanky. And even eagles would need a long time to kill him. And also, don't try to kill Aragorn. So, kill with the eagles when you summon eagles. Try to kill the one thing, one hero you can kill fast. Okay, boy. So, that's where the fun begins. Let's go inside the jeans. Map control is looking phenomenal. Again. These games, they require a lot of patience. <laughs> you need to be passionate, you know, passionate, not passionate, patient uh, about the game. You should never keep, fo you know, losing your focus. He's fighting on my Elven Wood, so I should be able to win this fight, no problem. Yeah, keep demolishing buildings in time. Again, very important too. Just a level 6 gun, I might lose this battle, but I will recruit the Tree Beard. Ah, ah, we can go back. We don't need to use heal. So, guys, also decision making is very important. Look, in this spot, using kill would be a base because we're about to go inside the base from our opponent. That's when we. That's gonna be the point when we need to heal, not on a single row hit him in the middle of the map. You know, we need it in, in the base of the opponent player. That's very important. And we're about to enter Gondor. <laughs> As Aragorn would like to say, you will not enter Gondor. Yes, we will enter Gondor. And it's kind of odd. He's repairing the wall, but we can, I think, go over it. Yeah. Not all of us coming over it. What the heck? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Glorious charge. Go ham. Oh, he has Cloud Break. But we have fear resistance. No problem. You see? We want to keep an eye on, on Gandalf. He just used the heal already. Uh, Gandalf, there is no escape, my friend. There is no escape. I don't want to give him the chance to blast me. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Nice. Oh. Huge, huge. He's gonna be dead. Now we wanna kill the well because they can keep healing up at the well. And he's repairing the wall, by the way, but we can get three beard and break it once again. But he killed catapults, it's rubbish. That's very important. Actually, we are getting kind of crushed, but we have still a lot of leadership. He never tried to kill the heroes. Again, it's very important to kill the heroes, especially after the glorious charge is over. Theoden is very weak. Then you can even build towers and manually click your towers on the Theoden to kill him. But I will have even more ends, boys. Let's go. Faramir has been crushed by our Aragorn. Okay. So, he made a couple of mistakes in this game. He played very well, by the way. I mean, he did very good for the map control. His uh, micro was pretty good. He was keeping his Gandalf alive all game long. But he made the mistake with the barracks. He was trying it twice to build it at the outpost, which is not going to work out for you. He should be going for the marketplace. He went for the marketplace, I think. Um, and he should also make trebuchet in the base. So, you, you can even make combos. You can even make, you know, Gondor Soldier and uh, Archer combination. Because if you don't know, the Rohirrim Archers are very big against fire arrows. And Aragorn is going to be the winner of this game. GG, my friend. GG. Yeah, GG, well played, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.